Coming up next, for the vacant female junior middleweight championship of the world at the WBO, Gadi Alvarez and Hannah Gabriel. Hannah Gabriel, a beautiful looking girl, and she fights like a tigress in the ring. I know, and my, my announcing partner, Kip Towner, can you be a little bit more feminine? <laughs> Uh, Samson Lukowitz, who uh, handles both of these girls, said you're going to think that this girl is a beauty queen, but when you see her in the ring, she's going to be something else. So we're looking forward to seeing uh, Hannah Gabrielle. She hails from San Jose, Costa Rica, will come in here 9-0, undefeated with a draw on her record and five knockouts. And uh, Gardi Alvarez uh, from the Dominican Republic is 9-1 with a couple of draws. She has six knockouts, so she actually has more knockouts than does uh, Ana Gabriel. Love to use the jab and straight Gabriel. right to the stomach. And here comes Hannah Gabriel. Take a look at this beauty as she walks in. She's coming off a fourth round knockout over Gabriela Zapata to win the WBO female welterweight title. Now remember, this is coming up from 147. She vacated that title to fight for this vacant WBO super welterweight title so she's going for a second world title and she she feels Colonel, this is her right weight that this is the weight that she should fight in so therefore you know she's very comfortable here she was a, a bigger girl at one time she was almost 200 pounds she trained down got involved in boxing to train down and uh, Gardi Alvarez actually was 175 pound herself she won the Dominican Republic light heavyweight title which is 175 pounds stopping Jennifer Rensier in the fourth round back in June of 05 and she's been dropping in weight since so she's coming down at 154 as Hannah Gabrielle who's come down in weight over career all right Jimmy Lennon Jr. standing by let's get it underway here's Jimmy Lennon Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, at this time we present a women's championship attraction brought to you by PR Best Boxing in association with All Star Boxing, El Municipio de Bayamón y su alcalde Ramón Luis Rivero Hijo, Dodge, La X, and El Nuevo Día. This bout is sanctioned by the WBO, sancionada por la OMB, Presidente. Francisco Valcarcel, Supervisor Manuel Marrero. Introducing our judges, scoring at ringside, presentando a los jueces. Genaro Gino Rodriguez from Illinois. From Puerto Rico, Nelson Vasquez. And also from Puerto Rico, Carlos Colon. Our referee in charge, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Luis Pavon. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing for Puerto Rico's first ever women's world championship bout, the WBO Junior Middleweight Championship of the World. Bien, amigos, 10 asaltos por el Campeonato Mundial Femenino Peso Junior Medio de la OMB. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks with white trim. She weighed in at 152 pounds. Presentando en la esquina azul, con un peso de 152 libras. With a record of nine wins, one loss, and two draws, she has six wins coming by way of knockout. Su record, nueve victorias, una derrota y dos empates con seis ganadas por knockout. De la República Dominicana, demos la bienvenida a Gardi Álvarez. And her opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing dark blue trunks with gold trim. She weighed in the same at 152 pounds. Y su oponente en la esquina roja, pesando 152 libras. She is undefeated in her campaign to the ring with a record of nine wins, no losses, and one draw, with five wins coming by way of knockout. Su record, nueve victorias y un empate sin derrota, con cinco ganadas por knockout de San Jose, Costa Rica. Demos la bienvenida a la invicta, Ana Gabriel. 
Inquiesta el referí Luis Pabón. All right, so okay, the fight chicas, is covered the lindo, center. Here's Luis. Ana Gabriel, an all around athlete, she was involved in track and field, 400 uh, hurdles, shot put, pentathlon, well conditioned athlete. She's one of the best known athletes in all of Costa Rica and a very good person. She Most every day she motivates youth groups. As you take a look at the tail of the tape, you see the age difference there by five years. Uh, height, uh, three inches taller as Gabrielle, weight about the same, and the reach and advantage for Hannah Gabrielle. So we're set to go and get this one underway. Round number one, these are two-minute rounds of schedule for ten rounds. Hannah Gabrielle and Gardi Alvarez. Alvarez has the blue trunks, the longer trunks with the blue shoes. The skirt-type trunks uh, from uh, Hannah Gabrielle. Gabrielle is a former world champion. She's digging hard to the body. Boy, you can see the difference. He's hurt already. Is Alvarez? he has been hurt for the body, and that's it. The fight's all over. She took the shot to the solar plexus, and absolutely. And you know, Colonel, that's a delayed response. It's a delayed response, but boy, did she feel that. And of course, before the fight, Hannah told us the left hook to the body and the uppercut was going to be the shot. Except this time, she planted right there on the solar plexus, right under the sternum. Well, Luis Pabon had no choice before the seats get warmed up in the Ruben Rodriguez Coliseum and more trouble in a tightrope walker in a windstorm is Gardi Alvarez blasted to the belly you could see immediately I wish this had gone a little bit longer because I want to see the skills of Hannah Gabriel but, but I mean she, she is one calm fighter look at her <laughs> and this is a girl that again she's involved with Sergio Maravilla Martinez the great now middleweight champion of the world after beating Kelly Pavlik working with Samson Lehovitz their manager on this uh, motivating youth group with no violence no violence very very serious about her work with that and she's done a great job well it's too bad you didn't get to see more of her but this girl took a blast right below the rib cage on the left hand side we'll have a replay for you and it'll show you the punishing uh, shot that she took here we go Benny and she's gonna go to the body She's right there to the head. That would do the damage, but it's going to be that. It's going to be a shot coming up. That's the. Oh. That's oh. the one right there. Oh, it's a liver shot. Yeah, it was a liver shot. But by then, Gardi Alvarez had nothing in her, and that's about the time where she actually felt it. Yeah, I, I saw the right hand shot to the body first. Then there was a left hand liver shot, and, and four or five shots upstairs. Boy, would I love to see a Hannah Gabriel and Wolf fight. Oh, man. That would be some kind of fight. This but girl it, is a great athlete, though, Benny. Look at her. She's totally under control. And look at those punches coming from the hips, Colonel. Remind you of Mike Tyson, the way Mike Tyson used to throw those shots. Look at how strong the arms are. And look at right skipping forward, still throwing. That's a hard body shot uh, taken on the shoulder. So much power this girl has. She is a terrific athlete. Man, I just wanted to see more of her. And I know you folks at home did, but you can be sure that the Rivera brothers, Peter and Ivan, will bring this girl back to Puerto Rico so we'll get to see her fight again. Because you, you, you sense the silence here, Kurt. I mean, they're just amazed. Uh, they're amazed. Totally, totally amazed by this girl. Amazed and disappointed, Benny, to a certain respect, because people wanted to see her fight. The first championship fight in Puerto Rico didn't last long, but what there was of it made a star out of Hannah Gabriel. I mean, we really have to make it official as Jimmy Lennon Jr. moves to the center of the ring. Let's get the official particulars. Damas y caballeros, tenemos el tiempo 20 segundos en el primer round with a time of 20 seconds in round number one. A referee, referee in charge, Luis Pabon stops the contest. El ganadora por knockout técnico, Hanna Gabriel. Well, Hanna Gabriel is something else, huh?